and mammoth. I wonder if I can use without using the hothead. Probably not, but... Well, now I'm in the middle of nowhere. I can go left or right. How kind of you, give me a new choice. Okay, that's weird. Well, congratulations, man. I found the secret Easter egg right today. I feel very skillful. So let's go this way. If the stars are dimming, then does that mean our sun is next? You are almost at the star world. You have to get to the bottom of this or we die. Sounds jolly. Alright. Coins. Arrow. Well, <laughs> don't follow the arrow. Arrows are evil. Don't follow instructions, you're sending a great message to our children. Alright. So I've got a... Oh, wow, time. Okay, it wasn't the arrow at all. I figured you put a kill wall somewhere. No, it wasn't time, was it? Because the clock is zero. And now it's six. Do I get time for the coins? No, I don't. But I get time for that clock, I'm assuming, otherwise I'm not sure what the clock is there for. That's kind of what a clock usually means, so... Run! To the clock! It is our savior! Nope, can't even hit the wall there. Kinda gotta do that perfectly. The next bit I just clearly just have to run. Because those brown blocks are there and I can't jump with the brown blocks there. Good to look ahead because otherwise I'm probably just gonna die. And yeah, I, I died anyway. I totally jumped even though I just said I wasn't gonna jump. Then I died because I didn't jump. Skill! I wonder if how much time I get from the clock, whether it's always a fixed amount, whether it's always six seconds, because that's only all I had for the first part. wonder if I'm at full speed whether I can just bounce on all three swamps without pressing any buttons. Yeah, that works. And then I jump again. Well, I figured out how to do the first part, and yet again I figured out how not to do the second part. Even though I already figured that out twice already. Well, okay. <laughs> that last swamp is pretty big. And now I'm pretty dead. Yeah, so I can't actually make that. Hmm. Interesting. I can't make it back either. Could I possibly have to... That would be pretty difficult. It doesn't look like what I have to do. I don't have the time for that, I don't think. Held the button too long. I, I could loop around there. I think that might be possible. Do I really have time for to get to the clock after that? I don't know. It's also a pretty tight, tight jump. Okay, one thing is for sure, after I do that I have to bounce straight to the big thwomp, otherwise I don't have any chance at all. 
So anyway, let's just hope that's possible. Because if it's not, then I, I don't know what I'm doing. Seems almost like I can make it through that gap. It's really hard to actually do, but if I can pull it off, that might be how I'm supposed to do it. I don't know. I can't screen scroll this all in the so it's not the section. I almost made it the other time. Exactly the same as last time. Oh, so close. I was like half a block or bit the clock there. The edge of that thwomp isn't as forgiving as the edges of normal thwomps, I'm pretty sure. Tilting platform in the next room is just like the one with Iggy, except this time it is invisible. Also beware of Resnor. Oh man, this sounds like fun. Well, I, I'm really thinking I should probably put a practice state here. Well, let's take one go at it anyway. I almost died just from... Oh man.
Well, dang it. Alright then, well, I think I'll call it quits there. I, I made it to Larry Koopa at least once, so... Let's see, is there any sort of, like, secret halfway point you put in there? No, not really, so I'm gonna have to do that again. Alright, see you next time.